Okay, so I did my project on uh, cardiovascular disease, otherwise known as CVD. And so what CVD is a <clears throat> disease of the heart and or the blood vessels, and it's contracted by living a sedentary lifestyle. So kind of just being lazy, you know, being obese, like not getting enough sleep, having a poor diet, you know, and like excessive uh, tobacco and alcohol use. I'm sorry. So CVD and cancer, they're among the greatest contributors to the global burden of disease, otherwise known as the GBD. Sorry, that was my computer. Um, so <clears throat> CVD is the leading cause of death in the entire world. And so it leads to about 17 million deaths per year. And so CVD and cancer, they're uh, both chronic diseases, meaning once they're contracted, they can never really be cured. And so CVD can be changed or reduced by just modifying your lifestyle. Like at the biggest change that you can make is your nutrition and your eating habits. And then following that is kind of like, you know, your bodily change, like being more um, healthy, exercising more regularly. And so one in three adults actually suffer from cardiovascular disease. And so the next thing is the healthy heart. And so your ideal cardiovascular health or your ICH is really just the absence of some of the CVD, indica the indicators of CVD and like the presence of some of the characteristics that are kind of like the opposite. So like number one is like not smoking, being sufficiently physically active, um, having a healthy diet, uh, appropriate energy balance and normal body weight, and then having optimal cholesterol, blood pressure and glucose levels without the <clears throat> assistance of medication. Okay. And so I'm going to go over three types of CVD, but before that, I'm going to talk about blood pressure. And so what blood pressure is, is it measures uh, how hard blood pushes against the walls of your vessels as your heart pumps blood. And then so that's really pertinent in hypertension, which hypertension is really just uh, sustaining high blood pressure. And hypertension is known as a uh, silent killer. And so the next one I'm going to go over is coronary heart disease, otherwise known as CHD. And this is like the greatest killer of the three that I'm going over. Um, so what this is, is the narrowing of the small blood vessels and the supply and of the small blood vessels that supply blood to the heart. And this accounts for about like one in seven deaths each year um, in the U.S. And then the last one we'll go over is stroke. And what stroke is, is a condition that occurs when the brain is damaged by a disrupted blood supply. And so to reduce your risk of contracting any of the CVD symptom or uh, CVD um, diseases, uh, really, the best thing you can do is to uh, improve your diet and then to not smoke tobacco or anything like that. Have like a normal body mass index. Um, have a regular a regular uh, blood pressure, not high, not, you know. Uh, don't have high fasting plasma glucose and be physically active. And so your ideal diet, I'm going to go over this really quickly, um, you need to have six to eight servings of grains a day, eight to ten servings of fruits and vegetables, six or less servings of lean meat, poultry, or fish per day, two to three servings of low-fat or fat-free dairy foods, two to three servings of fats and oils per day, and then four to five servings of nuts, seeds, and dry beans per week, and then no more than five servings of sweets per week. And so treatment options for uh, some of the CVDs are like, medications they can be dis per or, sorry not described prescribed to change the way the heart functions and so they can change like either the strength of your heartbeat they can regulate your heartbeat they can remove fluids um, reduce blood pressure improve heart function and reduce pain and so i'm gonna go over the three most common types of drugs are statins ace inhibitors and beta blockers so statins, they reduce your blood cholesterol levels. ACE inhibitors, they lower blood pressure by causing muscles and surrounding blood vessels to contract. And then beta blockers, they reduce blood pressure by blocking the hormone epinephrine. And the last one I'm going to go over is cardiopulmonary resuscitation, which is CPR. And uh, they change the way the CPR works. Um, before, you know, CPR was very, uh, they wanted you to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation for a person. But they've since changed that to focusing more on chest compressions. And the, ch the reason for this change is they think that more people are going to, you know, be active in trying to perform CPR with chest compressions rather than interacting like in mouth to mouth because they don't want to come in contact with a person's bodily fluids. Okay. And that's all I've got for my presentation. Thank you.